Hello everyone. Welcome to Dev Learner Update for the daily. We are working on the beginner's guide to M query. It's a simple start with basics. Yesterday we talked about Power Query documentation comparison, where we compare the two documents. What we are now talking about today is what is Power Query and why use Power Query. So let's start with the basic. What exactly is Power Query? Power Query is a data connection and transformation tool. You'll find it in Power BI, Excel, Dataverse, and Microsoft's new platform called Fabric. Its main purpose is to connect to data source, clean and transform the data, and load it into your report, reports or models. And you know what the best part is? You don't need to write code to use it. Power Query provides a user-friendly interface where you apply transformation step-by-step, step, like filtering rows, changing column types, removing errors, or merging data sets. And these steps are recorded automatically as something called M code in the background. So whether you're pulling the data from Excel sheet, SQL database, web pages, SharePoint, or even APIs, Power Query can help you prepare that data cleanly and consistently. Now, why should you care about Power Query? What makes it special? There are various reasons. First being, it is efficient. It can handle large data set without crashing your Excel or Power BI file. Second, it's repeatable. You set your data cleaning steps once, and every time new data comes in, those steps are applied automatically. Third, it brings consistency to your report. You reduce manual errors and ensure that data is always prepared the same way, no matter who opens the file. Fourth, it's accessible to everyone. You don't have to be a programmer, a business analyst, students. Even non-technical users can use Power Query with confidence. Now for advanced users, you can go a step further and tweak or write your own data transformation logic using the M language through the advanced editor. So there is a plenty of power and flexibility under the hood. To sum it up, Power Query is your go-to tool for ETL, and ETL stands for extract, that is to get the data, transform, that is to change the data in the form that you require, and load, load is where you are putting it up. And it's a core part of build reliable, dynamic, and automated data models. Having said that, in the next video, I like to explain what OData is, how data is represented in it, and which free public OData field you can connect to and use in Power BI or Excel. So stay, stay tuned. And uh, the and don't forget about the Sunday Q&A session. If you have any questions, you can post in free questions and the upcoming webinar, which is on 15th. So thanks for watching. Good day.